I told you earlier about my father being a stroke victim. And uh, I was in London, and uh, my sister sent for me. Dad's had a stroke. Oh, shit. So I flew up, and he was in the hospital, lying, buggered down one side. Was it left? No, right, down his right side. <laughs> his tongue was half buggered as well, his face. I, the thing, oh, I, I, so I'm there with my sister, and she's brought a priest, this little work shy lout. He's, <laughs> he's got a one day week, and he's always busy when you phone him. So, <laughs> so my father's swearing. It's one of the wonderful sides to having a stroke. Fuck! <laughs> fuck! 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 He can do nothing else. So, he can't ask for anything, so we're pretending he's asking for stuff. <laughs> Fuck! Water! <laughs> More orange juice. Do you want the window open a wee bit? Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! And I met a woman, a very bright woman. She, she was a pal of Barry Humphreys, actually, you know, Dame Edna fellow. Hey, she, I can't remember her name. What a, what a wonderful woman. And she said, What's happening to your father is a coprolytic propensity. And it starts as, ah, 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 ah. Now, ah, with your, with your teeth, with your, your lip and your teeth is, vroom, vroom. So you get, vroom, ah, fa, fa. And then close it again, fuck, fa, fuck. And now, it's not like Tourette's, which is a different, fuck off, shows your tits, different thing <laughs> altogether. <laughs> Completely different box of frogs altogether. <laughs> Tourette's, and there's another one. I was, I was making the dinner, I'm the cook in the house, you see, and I, I always listen to Radio 4 in Britain and all this sort of women's hour and all that. And there's a medical program comes on and they were talking about syndromes, and there's one fish aroma syndrome. <laughs> you smell of fish, <laughs> rotting fish. And of course you don't know. <laughs> it's like being on a farm, you don't know there's a smell. So you've been, by the time you get treatment, you've got a nickname like Haddock or something. <laughs> Can you imagine smelling of rotten? It's a liver disorder. The liver, there's a breakdown of the liver, and, and the waste that the liver's supposed to deal with works its way up to your skin and comes out smelling like raw fat. <laughs> anyway, there's a place in Los Angeles called Fashion Square. It's just a big mall. And I was there, there was a guy there with today. Ah, hey, fuck, hey, fuck! Be a bad fuck! <laughs> and I was, he was a really nice guy. I would talk to him. Fuck! Oh, fuck! And it, he, was, he, was, he wrote music, he was a composer, and he wasn't getting any work, because people don't like to be around them, you know. <laughs> George, go over that lullaby again. Bah, bah, fuck! Right, so. <laughs> but it was lovely, because the, the Christmas music was on. <laughs> the, the cinnamon and pine tree smell, you know. Yeah. Ding dong, merrily and high. Bah, fuck off! <laughs> I was sliding down the wall on the first day of Christmas. My true love said to me, fuck off! <laughs> so, I don't know what the hell I started out to say to you. Oh, hey, the stroke thing. <laughs> so my father goes, fuck! And I don't know, I'm sure the vast majority of you have visited people in hospital. You know, it's so difficult, isn't it? So a guy, a person's in a bed, and you're in a chair. Now, both of you don't want to be there, <laughs> you know. You like the person, perhaps you love the person. I, you know, like my, my dad, you know. But you've got nothing to say <laughs> in this shitty room with pipes and shit. And I heard myself saying it. 
had come out of my mouth. I tried to catch it too late. I said to my father, where are you here, Liz? You're lucky you're in here. It's raining outside. <laughs> and you know, it was a momentous occasion because it was the first time my father put two words together. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> off! Fuck of this thing! <laughs>